Hey friends, this game is called Soccer Bocce. This is a soccer game that's going to help practice the student's ability to pass. Okay, for teams, you can do free-for-all, or you can have teams of two to three. For the equipment, you'll need uh, soccer balls, and then a dodgeball for each game. Okay, for the setup, seven balls are needed for each game, so you're going to need uh, three soccer balls for each team. Okay, and then you can have that one dodgeball. Uh, you can even have it as a wiffle ball. Okay, then you're going to designate a play area for each game. Okay, so for the goal of the game, to s you are trying to score the most points each round by attempting to pass the ball closest to the target. Okay, so for the rules, this game is bocce ball. Okay, but instead of throwing a ball, it is passing a soccer ball. Okay, so for those of you who do not know what bocce is, okay, that's okay, uh, I will just explain uh, the soccer version. Okay, to start, one neutral ball is going to be thrown by either team, doesn't matter which one. Okay, this can be your dodgeball or your wiffle ball. Okay, so they'll throw the neutral ball okay, somewhere out into the field. Okay, so this will be the neutral one. Then what's going to happen, players are going to take turns uh, passing, so kicking their ball, trying to get as close to that neutral ball as possible okay each team will have uh three three balls so three chances okay obviously depending on equipment you can have it as two per team doesn't matter okay once each team has passed you will r walk out to the neutral ball okay and you will see which team had the closest shot closest pass sorry okay so in this instance you can see that blue is obviously closer okay so they would get the point okay how the points work is that the team that is closest okay they automatically get a point but then they get as many points uh, as they have balls that are closer than the other team so what that means is okay i'll erase this blue one so say this happened okay so blue is obviously the closest one okay so that is one point okay but because their second shot was also closer than any of the red ones okay that counts as two points for that round okay so depending on how many balls you use you can get a maximum of one to three points uh, for each round okay this is a super fun super casual game um, but it's a really good way to kind of practice that passing accuracy, um, trying to figure out, you know, power, how much power to use, um, when trying to pass it.